Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you. India's Home Minister Amit Shah chairs SEO meet in New Delhi. Inflation in Pakistan crimps Eid festivities at orphanages. And people in Nepal celebrate traditional Mother's Day. And now for all the details. India's Home Minister Amit Shah on Thursday chaired a meeting of heads of departments of member states of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization dealing with prevention and elimination of emergency situations. The delegates put their views on the innovative practices, technologies and future prospects for cooperation in the field within the framework of the SCO. Based on these deliberations, the member states will enhance cooperation in preparedness, emergency response and to jointly mitigate the impact arising out of natural and man-made disasters. Meanwhile, Pakistan has confirmed Bilawal Bhutto Zardari will attend the SEO Foreign Minister's meeting in India next month. The visit is significant given the state of bilateral relations which are at an all-time low at the moment. India currently assumes the rotating presidency of the SEO. Well, a court in India's western state of Gujarat on Thursday rejected Congress leader Rahul Gandhi's petition seeking a stay of conviction in a defamation case, fueling uncertainty whether he'll be able to contest an election due next year. Congress leaders reacting to the judgment said they will challenge the decision in Gujarat High Court on Friday. Gandhi was convicted last month in a case brought by a state lawmaker from the ruling BJP over his comment in a speech during the 2019 election campaign that were deemed to be insulting to Prime Minister Narendra Modi and other people surnamed Modi. Gandhi has, however, said he made the comment to highlight corruption and it was not against any community. While the Thursday's ruling was a setback for Gandhi, his jail sentence remains suspended until he exhausts all his legal challenges to the conviction. And in a report submitted by Pakistan's Defence Ministry to the Supreme Court, the South Asian nation has once again pulled the raw card to delay the elections in Pakistan's Punjab province on May 14th. The ministry claimed if elections are held as per schedule, India's intelligence agency, research and analysis wing can exploit the fault lines of the country. Admitting to India's global dominance, the report alleged Pakistan will become the victim of the global great game. The Supreme Court, however, said it has given a verdict on the Punjab polls and cannot go back on it. The top court said when the case was being heard, no one gave the brief over the security situation. The court remarked that the Defence Ministry's response was not satisfactory. Well, the mood at the Edi Om, an orphanage in Pakistan's Karachi, is mixed ahead of Eid as the economic crisis has resulted in fewer people making charity donations for the festival, a report. As Eid al-Fitr approaches, the mood in Edi Om, an orphanage in Karachi, is mixed. The economic crisis in Pakistan has resulted in fewer people being able to afford charity donations for the festival, usually a time of generosity. So orphans are taking matters into their own hands and making their own new clothes instead. Sabah Idi, the in charge of the network of orphanages, is also helping to embroider the clothes. She said she had to dip into savings to cover the cost of the Eid gifts, unlike previous years. The ED Foundation provides homes to more than 8,000 children across Pakistan. The 30 residents of the orphanage in Karachi are glad to get new shoes and clothes despite the rising cost of living. पिछले साल भी भाभी ने हमें सूट दिया था मंगवा के भी दिया था और कच्चा पीस भी दिया था हमने खुद भी बनाया था और इस साल बाहर से भी नहीं आया तो भाभी ने हमें खुद खरीद के दिया है हम बना रहे सी के पहन रहे अच्छा पाकिस्तान इज एक्सपीरियंसिंग इट्स वर्स्ट एवर इन्फ्लेशन व्हिच रोज टू 35% इन मार्च 
following a depreciating rupee currency and a rollback in subsidies and higher tariffs. Sabha fears they will have to face more challenges after Eid. The United Nations has said that it is ready to withdraw from Afghanistan in May if it cannot convince the Taliban to permit local women to work for the organization. UNDP Administrator Achen Stena said that it is fair to say that where we are right now, being the entire UN system, having to take a step back and reevaluate its ability to operate in Afghanistan. But it is not about negotiating fundamental principles and human rights, he said. The UN has warned the Taliban that the life-saving aid would be at risk without female staff since most of its staff are women. Without them, they will be unable to reach women in the conservative country. The Taliban, since seizing power in 2021, has imposed bans on women and girls, preventing them from education and employment. Well, thousands of people gathered at a sacred pond in Nepal on Thursday to mark the occasion of Mata Tirth Onsi to pay homage to the departed souls of their mothers. The festival is also called the Nepali Mother's Day. Thousands of people in Nepal on Thursday gathered at the sacred Mata Tirth Pond at the outskirts of capital Kathmandu to mark Mata Tirth Onsi festival to pay homage to the departed souls of their mothers. As part of the tradition, people wake up early and worship their mothers by giving presents to them. Those who don't have their mothers reach the pilgrim site to take a holy tip and observe the day by offering alms to the poor. The festival, which falls in the month of Besak, is also called the Nepali Mother's Day. <laughs> According to the legends, once a cow herd lost his mother and was so depressed that he came to water storage pond in the forest. Surprisingly, he saw his mother's face appear in the water. From that day on, the festival is celebrated. People believe that coming to this place on this occasion brings peace to the departed souls of their mothers. And after launching the first Apple store in India and in financial capital of Mumbai, Apple's chief executive Tim Cook on Thursday launched the company's second store in New Delhi amid much fanfare. Around 500 people gathered for Cook's brief appearance in which he spoke with fans and took selfies. The store has a dedicated Apple pickup station, which makes it easier for customers to order online and collect their devices in store. A loyal customer of Apple. This was the first product and now it's the latest product of Apple. So, it's a cult following of Apple. What do you say about the store and the people here? नहीं दिखाते हैं कि एप्पल क्या जो प्रायोरिटी है वो इंडिया की तरफ है और मैन्युफैक्चरिंग भी बढ़ती जा रही है साथ में रिटेल प्रेजेंस भी बढ़ रहा है तो I mean it is good to be prioritized. The company has more than 70 highly skilled retail team members at the Delhi store in Saket. Cook, who earlier this week also met India's PM Narendra Modi, said that Apple was committed to growing and investing across the country. Well, that's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.